All right, I'm gonna set up a grid, okay? Uh, and, and in fact, uh, we're gonna take advantage of these numbers that we generated right here, okay? So what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set us up uh, to this point. This is the scenario that I'm gonna set up here in a moment. I'm gonna fast forward through it so you don't have to watch this, you know, parts this that are not important. And, uh, but this is the, the assumption we're gonna make. We're gonna say, we sent out to the press 30 pounds, we sent out 30 pounds of 185 red, okay? Then we're going to say that the operator just pulled up a sample, wasted no ink, just pulled up a sample, added nothing to the ink at press, just poured it right in and pulled up a sample, and we measured it and decided that we were going to add two pounds of reflex blue and then we generated these ratios when we did that okay so we're gonna, I'm gonna set it up to that point and then we're gonna start to evolve the formula as the next time the press operator is gonna wash down the press return the ink to the ink lab or to the ink mixing area and we'll work with it from there okay so I'm gonna set that up Okay, what I've got here is this, okay? And the, I've got some columns set up, so I've got a matrix set up, or a grid, all right? And I've got, the first column I've got here is the base colors that, that, that are in this ink. I've got warm red here, rubine, and then I've got reflex blue. I made a row anticipating the fact that we're going to add reflex blue to this. All right. In the first scenario, we added, so this column says add, we did 22.5 pounds of warm, 7.5 pounds of rubin, and 0 pounds of reflex blue. And the total was 30 pounds, okay? So now the ratios are 0.75 for warm, 0.25 for rubin, and at this point, 0 or not applicable for the reflex because we haven't added um, uh, any reflex blue. So if we were to stop right here at this point, we could say that the ratios for our formula are 0.75 and 0.25 and that's the ratio for 185 red but as we said earlier we're going to add two pounds of reflex blue to this amount so here's now what happened we sent out th these 30 pounds to the press and the operator just pulled up the samples and there was no ink wasted and we decided that we were going to add two pounds of reflex blue so we return 30 pounds, okay, and if we apply, it's because of that, the, um, the amount of warm red and the amount returned, if you will, or the amount that's still at the press, is still 22.5 pounds warm red, the amount of rubin red is 7.5 pounds, and now we've added 2 pounds of reflex blue, alright, so I'm going to give us a little room here to do a little math, alright, so now our total now is... 32 pounds, okay? So now what we want is, we want to say, okay, if we stop at that point, what is our formula? In order to do that, as we discussed earlier, here's the whole or the total amount, and we're going to divide each of these amounts by the total and come up with their ratios, okay? So we did that already, and those are the numbers that I stored aside. If you watched the earlier video towards the end, you know that I set those numbers aside. So. Uh, okay, so we're going to go ahead and put the ratios for this at 0 0.703, 0 0.234, and 0 0.063, okay? Those are our ratios at this point. So at this point, if the operator would go to the press, put this, uh, or actually, uh, yeah, go to the press, add the two pounds of ink, let it sit there and get all mixed up to the point where he knows it's all, or she knows it's all through the machine and all through the system, and they run a sample, and uh, it matches, then our formula would be these numbers here, okay? Uh, but that's not going to happen. We're going to make it a little bit more complicated. All right. So now the operator goes to the machine, puts in the two pounds, pulls it up. It's still not quite there. 